everybody, it's Claire. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator based in the United Kingdom. Uh, thank you for pressing play on my video today and this is the card that we're going to be making. It's a gorgeous simple card that I have cased off Pinterest. It was originally created by an American demonstrator called Deborah Bergen. It was created for the April 2018 on stage to show the new Under the Sea stamp set which is available in 2018-2019 catalogue. Um, originally she created it in Calypso Coral so I've turned it down slightly making it in Night of Navy and I think it's a gorgeous set and I will show you how to make it. So the first thing you'll need to do is, um, I'm going to be stamping off so I'm going to bring in some scrap paper and you will need two pieces of Whisper White. Um, what you'll need is actually in a separate video um, which is linked below um, if you want to watch that to set up and prep. And this is definitely a card which is easy to make multiples of quite quickly. So um, I'm going to take the um, texture and I'm going to take my first piece of Whisper White and I'm going to bring in my grey granite ink pad and I'm going to stamp in and put that in the middle somewhere. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. And then I'm going to move the grey granite to the top and then I'm going to bring in um, my Knight of Navy ink pad and I'm going to ink up again, stamp off, stamp onto the paper and again it doesn't have to be lined up perfectly, stamp off, stamp on. I'm going to put that to one side and clean it off in a minute and put this away because I will get my hands absolutely covered in Knight of Navy ink. So while the grey granite's out, I'm going to put these to one side because I'm going to stamp the Have a Wonderful Adventure. So I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of Whisper White and I'm going to stamp that off. And then I'm going to bring in my two inch circle punch or you could use um, any punch that you have or you can use any circle dies. And I am going to punch this out and while I've got the punch out actually I'm going to punch out my other circle so I am taking a piece of vellum and I am taking the two and a quarter inch circle punch and I am going to oh see <laughs> it is a scrap piece of vellum so I'm hoping I can Oh, I think that bow was definitely better. So we go. I'm just utilising every scrap. Um, and so there we go. I've got my two circles and I'm just going to put those over to one side before I do something crazy with them. Um, and now I'm actually going to close up my grey granite. So um, the next step bring these back in and I'm going to take the larger of the coral and I'm going to start stamping in Tranquil Tide, sorry, um, which is here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp off, sorry stamp, stamp on and I'm just going to put one on the inside and then I'm going to take the Have a Wonderful Adventure, I'm going to turn it over onto its back and I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to ink up my coral again. Stamp off. So I'm, all I'm going to do is keep on um, inking up, stamping off, stamping on, inking up, stamping off, stamping on. So I've done it twice at the top. And you can do it two or three times or you could just do it once if you want to. I'm just going to turn around. And I'm going to stamp ink, sorry, ink on, and then move it slightly to the side again. Ink off. So we go. So that's my tranquil tide done. So I am going to take that out of the way and put this. Away. and then I'm going to ink 
sorry, stamp with the little curl and I'm going to ink that with Fresh Fig. So first thing I'm going to ink up, check it's okay, stamp off and I'm just going to, there, so that's the inside done. So that's free for whatever sentiment you want to use in there. And then I'm going to take this and I'm not going to use my circle, I'm just going to put that to one side. Um, because you've got the basic shape already. So I'm just going to ink up. And you can stick one of these wherever you fancy it. So I quite fancy one there. It's no problem. So ink up. And I'm going to go down there. And then again down there. So there we go. We've got the ink. Um, we've got the stamping done. So I'm going to put this away because as I said, I'm going to get covered in it. And I'm going to put this to one side to clean in a minute. So I'm going to take away my um, scrap piece of paper because we finished with the stamping. So we've got the front of our card and we've got the middle of our card. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Have a Wonderful Adventure and I am going to use some glue, snail, and I am going to take my vellum circle. I'm just going to layer that up like so. And then um, because I want a bit of oomph, that I'm going to add some dimension using dimensionals. Now, of course, if you're posting these and you've got quite a few to post, then um, you might just want to use a uh, normal um, adhesive and not um, dimensionals so that it doesn't create quite a thick parcel. So I'm going to put these on and then I'm going to put one in the middle to stop it from being soggy. No one wants a soggy middle. <laughs> Neither do they want a soggy bottom. So I'm going to take the back of the dimensionals off. And to give me a bit of wiggle room with my dimensionals, I am going to use Tombow to add this to the back of those dimensionals. So by adding Tombow, you just give yourself a bit of space and a bit of chance to put it in the perfect place rather than it being stuck on immediately. So, have a wonderful adventure and I'm going to stick it about there and I'm happy with that. But if I wasn't happy, the tombow means that I can move it around slightly. So there we go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my card base, um, which I'm using Knight of Navy. I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to use a bone folder to um, make sure that the lines are... Oh, so it's, so it's well folded. And it's not quite perfect, so that's not a problem. I'm just going to reline and just going to reline my card. Oopsie. There we go, so I'm just going to realign that. And that's fine. We all make mistakes, it's not a problem. Um, and actually I'm going to fix it, <laughs> fix it by trimming that side off in a minute. So I'm going to add some Tombow. I'm going to add some onto the back. And again, this gives you wiggle room. You don't really need that much. I was just going a bit OTT. And I'm going to line up the have a wonderful adventure and as I said we can cut that down in a minute to make it look perfect and then again Tombow on the inside
And then to finish it off, I'm going to take, um, oh, <laughs> sorry, I better put that back on before it goes everywhere. I'm going to take some basic sequins and I'm going to take um, a picker, a jewel picker. I'm so excited for the new Stampin' Up! one. And I'm going to take the sequins and I'm going to... stick these on and I've managed to lose one already so I'm going to stick that on on there and as I said um, what I'll probably do is correct the <laughs> slightly odd card but um there we have it, a gorgeously pretty card using Under the Sea stamp set by Stampin' Up. Thanks for watching the video today. Bye.